Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I have a couple of dimensional window cards to share with you today using two different Unity Stamp Company sets, the adorable Sweet Warm and Whipped, which is full of tiny, cute little images, and then I've added sentiments using Wits Words, which is another fun one. So I started off by picking two coordinating pieces of pattern paper. It helps to pick them from the same 6x6 pattern paper pad, then you know that they'll blend and coordinate together. And I've die cut two different sizes of windows on these, um, mainly just based on the images and the sentiments I'm going to use. So you notice the one with the larger window, I need to cut my foam adhesive in half because I have a smaller uh, edger on the sides. And I'm layering my foam adhesive on, and, and you can see where I'm tucking in there. You don't have to put that extra little bit of foam, um, but I just like that added stability and knowing that if I mail it, that that's going to hold a little sturdier and not maybe bend in the mail when it gets mushed and smashed around. Now I'm adding that pattern paper from the back because you notice I trimmed it a little bit smaller than that front window panel. Um, so adding it from the back just ensures that I have it centered on there and that I don't end up setting it on crooked since I wouldn't be able to see it underneath the other one as I set it on. So I'm doing the same thing on that one. That way I make sure it's perfectly lined up. Now I have all of my little images and sentiments. I've already stamped them just in plain white. Um, and I was going to color them and I ended up just liking them plain and leaving them that way. Uh, I'm showing you real quick here. So there's a little tiny bit on the inside of that cup and I decided I wanted to cut it out. It was a little too fine and I ended up ripping um, <laughs> the handle on that mug just a little bit. So this one, you notice I cut in from the bottom and I cut the handle on the bottom there, but that is far less noticeable. And once you get it on the card there, you'll never even see that. Uh, the rip one's a little more noticeable, but I decided to tie some twine on just to kind of cover up that mistake. Um, it's nice when you can find things to do to kind of hide a mistake instead of having to start over. Um, I could have restamped and fussy cut that image, but um, I thought I'd try and find a way to cover up the mistake instead so you wouldn't notice it. So anyway, so I cut out all these little images, fussy cut them with my fine detail scissors, and I did the same thing with uh, the sentiments, um, and it made it easy to be able to put them on. And since I have those outside frames already popped up on foam. I'm going to pop these up with foam as well. I decided to add a bow on the other one as well since I'd added one on the other side. Um, I thought that other card needed one too so I tied one around the donut on that one as well. All right now I'm pulling out my foam adhesive and like I said um, since that outside edge has the foam popping it up so you kind of have a dimensional window it's kind of nice to pop these in uh, with a little bit of foam dimension as well. It just kind of adds some depth to the card. And with the two busy pattern papers, it kind of, it's hard to see in the video here, but you'll see a little better in the photos. It kind of helps um, your eyes to kind of separate those busy patterns and helps make them work together a little bit better. Um, it just kind of gives your eyes somewhere to, to draw along a little bit different. So, and then popping these up, it just kind of adds depth and shadow in the same way. And the ones with the twine on them, you wouldn't be able to attach them down smoothly without popping them up on foam adhesive. So that's something else I like to do when I can. All right, there we go. That was the final step. Here's a closer look at each one of them. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're inspired. I hope it makes you want to pull out your pattern paper and give these a try. Thanks so much for coming by. Have a wonderful day.